Ako po si Father Bill San Luis uh, SVD at uh, ako executive uh, producer ng uh, uh, Divine, uh, Divine Word uh, Mission Communications Foundation at uh, ako rin po ay sumusulat ng column sa Manila Bulletin at sa Tempo at uh, executive producer ng uh, Seven Last Words. Inaanyayahan ko po kayo na manood sa Seven Last Words namin mamayang 12 o'clock hanggang 3 o'clock ng hapon. At mapapanood po ninyo ito sa Facebook at uh, YouTube. Ito po ay uh, replay ng aming uh, Seven Last Words noong nakaraang taon 2019. My dear brothers and sisters, our topic for our reflection is about the uh, sufferings and death of our Lord Jesus Christ in uh, Golgotha. On Good Friday, we commemorate the terrible suffering of the Lord followed by his death and later his resurrection. Jesus Christ was tied and dragged from one court to the other. Then he was stripped of his clothes. He was swept. And uh, afterwards, he was forced to carry the cross and then nailed to it. This terrible suffering was why, was the way he showed his love for us. He bore his sufferings and lay down his life in order to save us from sin and death. In this world, we cannot avoid sufferings, and this is what the Lord is telling us. Our suffering could be physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual. Even the happiest relationship go through difficulties, goes through sufferings and disillusionments in life. Alam po ninyo, minsan ay uh, uh, meet ko dito sa Manila ang uh, isang kaibigan ko na ikinasal ko po sila nung nasa Ilocos Norte. At tinanong ko, kumusta naman kayo? Ano, uh, okay ba ang buhay ninyo bilang mag-asawa? Father, sabi ng lalaki, alam mo, uh, may tatlong anak na kami at uh, masaya naman kami. Uh, nadiscovery ko lang, Father, na ang pag-aasawa pala ay may tatlong sing-sing or three rings. Ano yun? Tinanong ko. Ang una po, Father, ay uh, engagement ring, yung ikalawa, wedding ring, at ano yung ikatlo, tinanong ko, Father, suffering ay ngayon, yung babae naman, tinignan yung asawa niya at sinabi niya, Father, alam mo, mayroon ding ikaapat na ring. Ano yun? Tinanong ko. Father, kung may uh, kabiak, ay may tiri ring. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, this is uh, just uh, a part of uh, uh, relationships in marriage. And... Uh, the couple go through life with different uh, uh, sufferings and pains that they encounter. There is a true story of a couple doctor who were frontliners in tending coronavirus patients in a hospital in Cebu City. The two were Dr. Dennis Ramon Tutud, an oncologist, and Dr. Helen, a pathologist. Because of their uh, exposure and diligence in caring and treating the coronavirus patients, the wife, Helen, was tested positive and her condition became worse. While she was uh, bedridden, she was wondering why her loving and caring husband was not visiting. He used to do it 
and he would bring some food to her. She didn't know that the husband was also sick and confined at the lower floor of the hospital. The nurse attending to Dr. Helen said, why is my husband not coming here anymore? But the nurse was silent. Dr. Helen died. And after a few days, Dr. Dennis, the husband, also passed away. So, in so short a time, the husband and the wife died. The daughter said, uh, ruefully and tearfully, I wonder why God had allowed this to happen to my father and mother. Dear televiewers, the heartbreaking experience of this couple and the child was hard to fathom. And there are some similar experiences that we encounter in life. Jesus is telling us, if you don't take away all your sufferings, it is not because I cannot do so or because I don't love you enough, but buried within the human nature is the reality that fulfillment comes, the passage to eternal life through sufferings and death. The best I can do is to tell you this. What I ask you is to follow me and have faith in me. Dear brothers and sisters, of course the Christian attitude is not just to bear our sufferings. If we can remedy our pains, our, uh, lighten our crosses in this world, then by all means let us do it. You know, when we were young in our family, my father and mother were always quarreling. And that was uh, the cross that my mother was always uh, carrying with her. Kasi po ang papa namin ay talaga namang uh, uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, difficult to uh, uh, relate with. At uh, siya po ay uh, Oh, uh, diktador, utos ng hari, hindi mapabali. At hindi lang riyan po, siya ay uh, may dugong Kastila, may Spanish blood, at bukod pa riyan, may high blood. Kaya double trouble po yung sa uh, sufferings ng aming mama. And sometimes our mother would be uh, already full up to his uh, neck. She could not bear anymore. Kaya lumalaya siya sa bahay namin. But, you know, uh, after one or two days, our father would uh, uh, have a remorse of conscience. And what they will do is to go back to our mother. At hinihikayat po na bumalik sa amin. It was with uh, uh, humility and the spirit of forgiveness that was the remedy to our coming back again as one happy family you know if uh, our mother did not reach out the hand of forgiveness and reconciliation then we would have been a broken family at wala na rin sana ako dito patayo as uh, a priest so uh, the solution comes from our own uh, heart from our own willingness to uh, be humble and to forgive and to reconcile. When such experience comes into our life, let us remember that beautiful prayer of the uh, theologian Reinhold Niebuhr. He said, Lord, grant me the courage to change the things that I can change, the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, and the wisdom to know the difference between the two. Dear brothers and sisters, just as the cross of Christ 
was redemptive. Let us also offer our sufferings with Him, so our sufferings will become redemptive and meritorious. If we suffer and die with Christ, then we will also rise in His glorious resurrection. Amen. Kayo po nang sinabi ko kanina, inanyayahan ko kayo manood sa aming seven last words sa Facebook at sa YouTube. Mamiyang tanghali from 12 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And we will show the seven last words of last year dahil hindi po namin nagawa yung live uh, dahil dito sa COVID, uh, lockdown, at uh, yung uh, quarantine and also the 24-hour curfews. And see you. And now, dear uh, viewers, I would like to give you my priestly blessings. Lord, we pray that uh, our viewers will uh, not suffer the difficult uh, sufferings that uh, our uh, patients and uh, our doctors and frontliners have experienced. And uh, we pray also to the Lord to bless us and to end this uh, COVID-19. But, Lord, may we remember also that we should do our share, that we should be uh, uh, obedient to uh, the restrictions um, by our government to uh, stay at home and uh, to uh, uh, also uh, um, do our part in order that we will be able to end this uh, uh, dangerous and uh, deadly COVID-19. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.